Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. What you doing out there, guys? What's going on? How you spending the day? I know I just put a uh, Taurus reading out the other day, but you know, what the heck? Let's do a Taurus reading. I just feel like reading. Let's just read a little bit, see what these cards have to say. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it to sew together a story. And I'm going to confuse the heck out of you for a second. But I'm going to go back and read it top to bottom. So just hang in there. Or you can jump to the timestamp. I'll put a timestamp down there where the actual, actual reading starts. All right, let's do it. All right, give me a chance to channel. Y'all follow along with me real deeply. And let's see what the universe has to say for you today. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus would like to know what you know. What do you know? about this Taurus and what does this Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Please tell me where the stopping point is for this Taurus. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Where is the stopping point? Uh, I think I need to stop right there, the stopping point. Okay. All right. Let's see you guys. <clears throat> Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck. Prince of Wands in reverse to the Sun. To the Two of Swords in reverse. Princess Pentacles in reverse. All right. We'll take that Queen of Wands. Ah, look. We'll take. Oh my gosh. Look at that. We'll just take Death. And the Nine of Cups as well. And the King of Wands. And the Three of Wands. And the Ten of Cups. And all of that is going to make hella sense to us a little bit. And as you can see, this Eight of Swords starts, starts some more conflict, right? And that's the conflict of the Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, so we'll stop with that. Let's see what's on top. Oops, you know, I got a new table and it just wiggles like that. I'm really sorry about that. Take some drama, mean. All right, five of wands in reverse. Uh, the avoidance of something. Um, sometimes it's a, it's a change of focus. The lovers in reverse talks about um, unviable relationship. It talks about energetic output, energetic exchange. The hangman in reverse, resistance, delays, stalling. The Princess of Swords, possibly some kind of communication, possibly what needs to happen inside of your head. The Four of Swords in reverse, uh, mentally restless, contemplation, um, upset about uh, what's happening. The Eight of Cups in reverse, emotional abandonment, what the hell, Taurus? Emotional abandonment, the Five of Swords, some kind of mindset mindset six of wands in reverse a lack of success what the hell taurus ace of wands in reverse the seven of wands in reverse the prince of pentacles let's see how this story ends here the prince of pentacles the six of swords the queen of swords thank god we need her right here to the seven of pentacles uh rethinking something queen of cups in reverse to the three of pentacles the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Empress in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Prince of Swords. Look at that. All right. Well, there's something that is going on here. Look, we'll take all of those, too. There is something going on here that you need to be very, very aware of. Okay. Let's see. The Moon in reverse coming to terms. Okay. We will stop with that on that. Okay. Goodness gracious, you guys. Well, 
the good thing is, is there's a big old deep story. There is some kind of big deep story going on here because all of these reversals represent um, alternative perspectives, okay? So let's just dive in and see what all this is about. All right. I, 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 I. So the five of wands in reverse is the first card out. So that means that it sets the tone for everything. Sometimes it can be about disagreements. Um, it's definitely about conflict, but in the reverse, it's about conflict avoidance. I do believe. Um, what is it about death? Yeah, look. Okay. Okay. You know, sometimes it can mean an increased focus on goals as well, but let's just see how the story sews together and we'll make that determination. Well, well, an increased focus on goals and the King of Pentacles. All right. So you transforming future. Gotcha. So why is the lovers in reverse then? And why the resistance with the hangman in reverse? All right, this is what's going on right here. Check this out. Hope y'all can see all these okay. Check this out. This is what's going on. So, 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 so. First card out is the five of wands in reverse, right? This card is talking about um, um, an increased focus on goals, okay? It's about instead of chaos and, and not knowing what's going on, like the people who are fighting in this card right in the reverse it's about it's about um getting control of something okay and death comes on top of it so there's going to be some kind of change some kind of change some kind of transformation that is going to happen in your life to the king of pentacles taurus right this change is going to get you to where you want to be in your sense of security, safety, and well-being in life. That's what the King of Pentacles is about right there, okay? So there's going to be some kind of change, some kind of ending to what was and a beginning to what will be, um, and it's going to put you in the position of being the King of Pentacles, okay? All right, all right, so remember, Five of Wands in reverse. This is about, about uh, getting control of things and increased focus on your goals. Get control of things because this is what wants to happen in your life. All right? All right. Now, the lovers in reverse. This is a misaligned relationship. Okay? It is a relationship that is not in your best and highest good because it's not... It's not the lovers in the upright, right? This card is about energetic attraction. That's what happens when people fall in love or when we, well, even if we fall in love, but not in a romantic way with like our dogs and our kids and our horses and stuff like that, right? So what happens is your energy is vibing over here and their energy is vibing over there. And the two of you come together and your energy just kind of like weaves and vibes together. And it's like, a, it's a vibe, right? Right? And you, 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 you feed off of each other's frequency and you vibe with them. And if you've ever been in a relationship where you just like, like feel almost naked when they're not vibing with you, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So the lovers in reverse is talking about, um, it, it the, the alchemy can't happen because there's some kind of difference between, what's in your best interest and what this situation has to offer, okay? Hangman in reverse. Um, I do believe this card is saying resist because it's clarified by the hermit, right? Soul searching, introspection, soul searching and introspection. So resist this opportunity that's going to come to you and sit down and do some soul searching. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, as we will see down here, is talking about just go steady and stable. Just keep on track to this 
goal that you have over here, okay? Because I don't want to be a buzzkill, but there's an offer coming to you that has to do with your success in this situation, okay? All right, all right, all right. Inviable relationship. Knight of Pentacles says, hold on. Okay, hold on. Knight of Pentacles might also be saying long term. Okay, S because remember there's an offer and there might even be some kind of contract involved. But this is a very soulful kind of thing because you're on your path, headed in your right direction, and there is an opportunity that presents itself that you have to really, really, really take into consideration, and that's the hermit right there, the sun. See very clearly that the path to happiness, success, and vitality, the hierophant in reverse, is, is in not committing to this situation. It's in not signing papers, not signing the lease, not signing uh, any kind of contract or obligation, a marriage license. It's about not committing, okay? In any other aspect, it would be about a reevaluation of your core belief systems. And, you know, it could be it too, and that could be a whole nother rabbit trail that we could go down with this card. But I believe it is telling you that your path to success in life is not this with the Hierophant in reverse. And to back that up, the Eight of Wands in reverse talks about delays. This, this, uh, hold off on this. Hold off. Delay. Hold off. Don't take action, right? Don't go in that direction. Hold off on this. Princess of Swords, here's the offer. Something's coming into you. What's coming into you? Some kind of communication of some sort. The lovers that presents itself as the lovers, right? That, that presents itself as uh, meant to be, okay? Meant to be. Presents itself as meant to be, okay? The Nine of Pentacles comes on top of it and says you're better off on your own. Um, independent, self-sufficient, bringing a culmination to a situation sometimes. But she is, she doesn't need whatever this offer is because she's doing just fine, just like she is. She doesn't need what this offer is, okay? Four of Swords in reverse. And you know this in your head. When you're laying there at night and you're thinking about this whole situation, it's just like gnawing at the back of your brain that there's just something, something is too good to be true, maybe. It's just, there's just something going on, okay? Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse talks about um, walking away. Walking away once and for all, walking away. To the Six of Swords, leaving, right? Getting, leaving the mental bullshit behind, getting in the little canoe there and getting the hell out of Dodge in your mind, mindset, air energy in your mind. Six of Pentacles, the giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity, okay? This also kind of tells me that maybe whomever is bringing this offer to you is doing you maybe some kind of favor and perhaps you feel indebted to this person, okay? You got, you somehow are prospering from this offer some way, okay? All right. Five of Swords, okay? Five of Swords. Um... Um, and that is the leverage that this situation has over you. And that is what the, the check in your gut is in that Four of Swords right there. Okay. Um, Queen of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. This is an uncomfortable situation right here, to say the least. Let's see what this is about. Give me um, so... So why do we have the Queen and King of Cups in reverse? Are they together or are they to be read individually? Is the Queen of Cups 
disappointment, deep disappointment. The King of Cups is it emotional volatility and the Ace of Wands in reverse being not not starting something, not getting something started. Page of Pentacles in reverse, can't manifest. Five of Pentacles, broke, and the Three of Cups, an offer. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. Remember I said you're somehow you are prospering from this whole situation somehow, some way, right? Right? So the Five of Swords. Um, this is them having the upper hand and leverage in the situation somehow or trying to maybe maybe sneak and steal some kind of leverage. I mean, this this card is about someone who is who is crafty for sure. I mean, this guy, this guy ain't an idiot, right? He's got everybody's swords. <laughs> He's got everybody's swords. So just take that for what it is. The Queen of Cups in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. This is a lot of emotional dissatisfaction, hurt feelings, wounded feelings. Um, also, what this kind of says to me a little bit is there's maybe someone feeling sorry for you a little bit or wanting to do something for you out of um, some kind of compassion or something. Okay? Yeah, that's that's a whole that's a whole thing right there. We could get into those big emotions, but we are limited on time. So, Ace of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse talks about disappointment. It talks about a lack of motivation, delays. Page of Pentacles in reverse talks about not enough money. Okay? Five of Pentacles talks about broke. And then the Three of Cups comes on top of it and talks about um, someone, I think, trying to change that situation. And that's what this offer is right here. Understand? Understand? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I just went back and checked myself, okay? Because I thought possibly, possibly... I was going in the wrong direction. So I went back and checked myself and I asked to clarify what this nine of pentacles is. If it, if it was, if it was the nine of pentacles because of the lovers or if it was the nine of pentacles horse should is better off on their own. And it was clarified by the nine of pentacles. Taurus is better off on their own. Okay. All right. That offer. Okay. Right here. All right, center of the reading is the Six of Wands in reverse. It's a lack of success, okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, broke. No money, no security, broke, okay? Ace of Wands in reverse, can't get it up and going, all right? And then here comes this offer again, right here, Knight of Cups, Knight in Shining Armor. Knight in Shining Armor, this offer is going to fix all of the stuff that you can't get up off the ground for some reason or you don't know how to get it up off the ground or you don't you don't necessarily have the resources to get it up off the ground okay and there's an offer that's coming in that is going to make everything better but 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 these cards are saying don't take action in that direction all right all right seven of wands in reverse says defend yourself oh it's it's about protecting yourself okay protect yourself the fool in reverse it's not the path it's not the purpose it's not a new beginning a new journey it is off track off course and foolish okay it's foolishness don't be a fool in this situation to the three of Pentacles in reverse the reciprocation that you are expecting from this situation is not going to be what you think it's going to be okay Prince of Pentacles slow and steady keep going slow and steady slow and steady six of swords don't let this don't 
Let this be weights around your ankles. Leave the mental struggle that you're having with this in the behind you. Queen of Swords and make some serious, drop dead sharp decisions about your future. Drop dead sharp decisions. What's the load you're leaving behind? Well, the Ten of Wands, it's a burden. It's a burden. It's a struggle. To the Three of Pentacles, what is the teamwork and the collaboration that this person wants to do? So as tempting as this offer might be, you are on your way to success anyway. Anyway. And even though this person, I think, is coming from a... a earnest perspective, it's almost like you're going to be given up something in order to participate in this whole thing right here, okay? To the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles talks about reflecting and assessing, taking a step back and looking at what it is you want to grow and how it is you want to grow it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Queen of Cups in reverse again. Some kind of hurt feelings. Hurt feelings, emotional discomfort, emotional disgruntledness. Sometimes it's about out of control of emotions. Perhaps the person that you are thinking about getting involved with is emotionally unstable. Ah, that could be why this is on the negative, right? This is, could be why this is saying, don't do this, because what you don't know yet is that the person that you're getting in bed with is emotionally unstable. Ah, interesting. Tons and tons of repressed emotions right there with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Ah, maybe this person is kind of a train wreck. To the um, Seven of Wands, again. This is about defending yourself, protecting yourself to the Three of Pentacles. The teamwork and the collaboration that they're offering, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, isn't going to work. It's not going to work. It's just not. I, for a bazillion different reasons, for everybody's situation and circumstance. If I was reading for you and these were your cards, we'd be all over and underneath and around all this stuff right here. But I don't know, right? It's general. But it's not going to work to the Empress in reverse. It's not in your best interest. It's a creative block with the universe. Um, death opened this reading and said, this transformation is what is to take place in your life. And if you engage in this after knowing that if this hits you in your guts, honestly, don't make any decisions off of a general tarot card reading. That's just crazy talk. Get your cards read for real. Because if you have to make some kind of decision about a huge opportunity in your life and you are doubting yourself or your intuition in any way whatsoever, follow your intuition. Follow your guts. Follow what your soul is speaking to your consciousness because that is always the path of your best and highest good. Okay? Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Also, the Empress in Reverse is about codependency, okay? Codependency, and it's backed up by the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, which is financial setbacks, okay? So, if you get involved in this, somehow you're going to be financially codependent on this person somehow, some way, okay? Prince of Swords, there's your offer. Four of Wands in reverse, it cures whatever brokenness that Ten of Pentacles in reverse is about, okay, and that Five of Pentacles and stuff, okay? Um, so there's the offer. It cures that in your life, justice in reverse, but it's not in your best interest. Not in your best interest. Not only in, not in your best interest, but a lack of accountability. What's the lack of accountability? The fool in reverse, right? Not paying attention to what? Well, the path that the universe, God, source, whatever you call it, goddess, is leading you. Um, this is going to take you off track, okay? All right. Even though it solves some immediate problems, it's not necessarily where you need to be headed in your life. As a matter of fact, 
Hierophant in reverse. Don't commit to this situation. Justice in reverse. It's not in your best interest. Maybe it's a business deal. Maybe it's a business deal or, or maybe it's someone that is thinking about getting with someone else, whether it's love or career or whatever, um, to alleviate a, a, an immediate issue in their life financially. And um, the person turns out to be just a shit show, just a, a shit show of some sort. Okay, Chariot says put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do. You will know that in your guts. Follow your guts. Not your mind. Your guts. Seven of Swords. Because this situation is not cool. It's just not cool. Someone's trying to get away with something. Um, and it has to do with some kind of contract or obligation. Two wands in reverse. You don't know enough about this to make a decision for your future about it right now. Three of cups. There's the offer. And the moon in reverse. Moon in reverse says come to terms with what it is that you know to be the truth of the situation. And don't make any kind of decision that would be feeding into what you want it to be instead of what it really is. See it for what it truly is. And in the beginning back here with death and the King of Pentacles and the Five of Wands in reverse, right? Um, this is your transformation. This is where you're going. Tell us about, uh, tell us about, oh, you know what? I'm asking them to tell us where death's taking us, but right here on the bottom of the deck. This is where death is taking you, bottom of the deck. The Ten of Cups. A great deal of immense emotional fulfillment, okay? The Three of Wands, have some foresight. Have some foresight for the future. Look into the future. Get ready and prepare. Look, King of Wands, because the success that you desire to have in your life, King of Pentacles, the success that you desire to have in your life is about to break for you. Nine of Cups, it's everything that you've ever wanted. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, death, death. It's an ending to the way that everything was, and it's a transformation into the new way everything will be. But you're already there. You're already on the brink of independence and success. Uh-huh, right, right? Hermit, again, second time, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody has this situation benefits somebody more than it benefits you, I think. Princess of Pentacles in reverse, an inability to manifest. Um, whatever that means for you, it is just like a, a stopping point. Two of swords in reverse. You're at a crossroads, all right. Big time crossroads. You got to see that you're at a crossroads. You only have two choices in a two. You either change or you don't. In this set, in this case, it's your mindset with the swords. Air. At a crossroads. The sun. See very clearly the happiness to happiness, success, and vitality right back here to this first sun card, right? The path to happiness, success, and vitality. Resist, delay, stall, don't. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Trying to show you the way. Lovers in reverse, knight of pentacles. The lovers, it's, it's misaligned. It's, it's just misaligned. It's just misaligned. And the Prince of Wands in reverse says, don't do it. Don't take action. Don't, don't go in that direction. I hope that helps someone. So someone's got some kind of big old deal going on in their life. And it is, um, there's better. There's better for you. And you would be better off to be on your own. So there you go, Taurus. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.